So target that. Then we'll change the color based on the link color. And then we can change the background color. Now I've not actually done multiples of these on the same thing, so it's a bit wonky looking, but I would assume this would be the most efficient way to do it. So we're doing it. Separate that down a little bit. Like that. So we have main nav, that's the class, targeting the anchor tag. The color will be that. And the background will be link background color. So now let's set up that sec that selector. So we're going to go add, let's make sure we backspace that. Add another setting. The setting will be link background color. It will default to whatever our default is in our style sheet. Might as well go ahead and grab that. I thought it was going to be all easy and stuff. I don't actually see the background color on the main nav A. We can set it to default to 4B4B4B because that is what the background color is. We don't have to actually set a default, but we will for this. So I'll take that, and that's the same thing. So we're echoing that out there. So all this needs now is a controller. So let's take this controller, paste it right there, and say this will reference that. So paste, so copy that, paste that there, and we'll edit link background color. I hit Control S. Now that should give us what we want. Refresh the page. Get rid of that purple. So edit background color. Edit link color. Edit link background color. So let's edit the link color. Make them more. See, they had the fall that wasn't working. I'm just going to say I wasn't paying much attention because I did not link this up up here correctly. First of all, we have link background color here, but not here. So let's make sure we get that in there as the settings that's referencing. If we were to inspect this, can we inspect it in here? Yeah, we can. It has the background color. So the whole thing I went on about how that doesn't add in the pound sign for us. Apparently, I was wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I just had it wrong when I did it before. Oh man, the old time I told you how to do something wrongly and I do apologize for that. I did not know. There we go. So that's how that, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I'm sure, I'm sure I edited out most of that <laughs> anyway, but that's how that works. Make sure you don't have the pound sign in there. Apparently I just had it, um, configured incorrectly in my last attempt on the alpha media. Well, see, it doesn't work for background color. Why is that? Huh. What is different about background color? Nothing. They're the same. But if I add that there and refresh and set the background color to black, now it works. Okay, so I don't quite get that, but you get how it works, though. One or the other, apparently. I'll look that up and see what that what the problem is there. So we can edit these link colors, and we can change that to a, to a green or something, right? But so now we want to change the hover color. Let's change it back to a 4B4B4B. So we can just click on this right here and say 4B4B4B, enter that in, and now it's back to the default, pretty much. And uh, now what we want to do is edit the hover link colors. So let's copy this, knock that back and say hover. So now we're going to change the background color on hover. Getting a little long, it could be a bit, bit it could be explained a bit better in a couple words I'm sure, but this does the job for us. So we're going to take that and do that. We want to add another control here. This control is going to say edit link hover and it's going to link to the setting. I should have these nested a bit better or not nested but ordered where the control comes under the setting. This is going to be link background hover I believe I said. 
and it will default to that green color which is terrible anyway but it's what it is so we have to use it we don't have to but we're going to let's paste that in there and now we're going to make sure we take that and use that there so use that there and there hit control s and uh, paste that actually there link background hover hit control s camera refresh link background hover will be purple if we hover over that now the background color is purple now for things like that we'd have to also you know do that for the ul ula and for the the hover color effect but you get the idea of how to do that now let's move on to something a bit more advanced i say a bit more advanced but it's it's the same thing it's just different right let's add in a new section and first of all i want to actually organize these a bit so edit background color should be under the background color setting Let's paste that in there. The edit link color should be under the edit link color setting. And the same goes for this one. Should be right here. And there we go. So now let's add another section. We want a whole new section. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste that right here. I'm going to add a little space there. Get out a PHP comment in here if we wanted to. And say. Uh, start images image settings or something you know whatever and this section is going to be game square images modify the theme logo uh, well, images logos or something whatever and we're just going to call the title the uh, the label of that section is going to be images so there we go. Now we're going to fill out this stuff. And again, it's just copy and paste from this point on. So it's really kind of kind of easy to do. And I love that. When I went into learning how to do use the theme customizer, I was kind of worried about having to learn this huge uh this this huge huge API and having to learn all these little working things that go together. But no, I mean it's kind of it's it's really simple. And I like that, but it has a huge huge impact on how how it works and it's, it's really cool it's really cool so this setting is going to be uh logo image or something right and it, this could default to an image source images here looks like well, since we're using an image here we could actually copy image url paste that image url right there so that setting will default to that now let's add a control. And this control is going to be the WordPress customize, I think it's image control. And we're going to change this to, we can give this the ID of logo image. Let's leave it logo image. We might should give it a different ID from that setting. And then give that the settings ID. And give this the section ID of game square images so there we go so we have that controller in there now we have a, de a default to that if we go here and refresh we should now have uh, I messed something up <laughs> I didn't save it that is a problem if you don't save it now we knock that down you see now how cool is that seriously let's, let's actually change that label uh, so it's not silly looking but change your logo or something you know whatever you want to do so if we refresh that it looks a bit better now change your logo and it's showing the default logo because we have it set to whatever the default is right 